Hello and welcome back to the live broadcast of the 2023 Sydney International Piano Competition, where I now have the great pleasure of welcoming here one of the semi-finalists, Vladislav Khandouri. Thank you. Thank nice you very much you for here. finding some time. And how, how are you feeling today? You played recently and uh, recovering from it? Yeah, I'm just a bit tired, but I feel okay now. So I'm happy to be here and glad to play here. So, What's your first impressions of Australia and Sydney? Uh, I mean, it's just different culture and I was really impressed with Sydney. And I mean, it's really interesting to be in a new country always. So. Indeed, yeah. indeed it is, yes. Yeah. One of the things you wrote, of course, in, in your description of yourself is that you come from a family of dulcimer players. Yeah. A really quite a fascinating instrument. And obviously, what, what does that mean? Does everybody in your family or several generations of your family play the instrument? Uh, you know, uh, my mom and my dad are dulcimers and they play uh, like in orchestra in Minsk because it's our national instrument. And we have like orchestra from our national Could instruments. Could you describe the instrument for us? Uh, oh, it's really hard. I yes. mean, it's just string instruments and uh, you play just with uh, sticks. I mean, right. I mean, yeah, and it's, I think it's really interesting. And it's, um, it inspired it's really, a lot of composers, yeah. didn't it? You know, people yeah, like UNESCO yeah, wrote for so. it and yes. Yeah, yeah, there are many instruments uh, like this, I mean, everywhere. and. I mean, it's not so popular like in Europe or somewhere else, but mm. in Belarus, it's, I mean, everyone plays it. So. Yeah. And of course, this must have had a huge influence of you, yeah. on you, yeah, of course. Maybe, maybe, but I just thought it's not my instrument and... <laughs> you wanted the piano. piano yeah, yeah because indeed. Because my uh, older brother played the piano when I was young. I mean, he's 10 years old, older than me. And, right. Uh, I really liked how he played when I was young and I just repeated melodies that he played when, yeah, and uh, my parents noticed that and, and took me to the music school and that's how my journey started. That's how so, your journey, how lovely is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, very nice. And of course, them being musicians, they probably understood a lot more how important it was for you to have the time and to be able to dedicate yeah. yourself yeah. in that way. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. And uh, are they watching from home? Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. They support me and yeah. terrific. You're getting messages and from friends and the community. Yeah, and of things. course. I mean, everyone supports me from uh, Russia. I mean, not only from Russia, from Europe, from everywhere. My friends. So, right. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And How lovely is it that? It feels more easier to play when someone is like behind of course. you. You know, it's like cool. Yeah, of course, yes, because it's taken up a long, yeah. a big chunk of your life, yeah. and it's nice to know that people are behind yeah, you. Of course, yeah. we're not just talking about one or two years; we're talking about decades, aren't we, yeah. of work? Yeah? yeah. Tell me about your program here, Chopin <clears throat> and Prokofiev. Um, rather interesting choice there. I mean, about the semifinals. Semifinals, yes, yeah. Um, yeah, I just chose pieces that I very like. I mean, uh, of course, I, we must uh, create our program uh, like in one theme, you understand? And uh, I just thought that it will be really like actual f to create the pieces uh, for this time. No, I mean, it's like hard times, you know, and uh, Chopin had uh, hard times in his life. Ravel and Prokofiev, of course, the war sonat. Uh, Chopin was not at home for half of his life and he composed these pieces and he was depressed because of it and he put his mood and character into his music and I just chose these pieces and I think it's really suitable for our time. Indeed. And should you be so lucky to get into the finals, you're going to be playing Beethoven III yeah. and Rachmaninoff. Tell us about your choice there. Uh, you know, it was really difficult to choose because, uh, you know, it was really, I can say, maybe strange uh, choice of the concertos here because like, no first Tchaikovsky, for example, no <laughs> second, third Rachmaninoff, which are more popular than the first one. But I mean, I played the first one and I very like it. I think it's really beautiful music and it's not so late, so... It's really good. And the third Beethoven is quite a new piece for me. And it's like I learned it 
two months ago, I think. So it's really good music and I very like it. So. Yeah, it sounds kind of good to me. When you're not playing the piano, what sort of things are you getting up to? Um, you know, I really like playing football. Ah, and okay. uh, I really like playing chess, reading books. So it's like many things to do, maybe to go somewhere with friends after I practice, I don't know. But most of the time I practice, so I don't have time now to do something else, I think. So. So speaking of friends, of course, you know, chamber music is sometimes described as conversation between friends. Yeah. We're about to move into the chamber music yeah. aspect of the competition. What are your, what are you going to be playing? And uh, I'll play a second Brahms Sonata for the violin. So in A major, it's really beautiful music. Mm -hmm. So Lovely. Yeah. And what about chamber music in your life? Do you do a lot of it already? Uh, no, oh, unfortunately I did not. I mean, I don't play usual chamber music. Of course I play it. I mean, the, maybe many times, uh, but not as often as I play solo. So mm. I mean, it's really interesting for me to play with someone. It's to have conversation in music, like indeed, yes, yeah, so yeah. feel the connection with your partner. So, what do you think the role of a musician is in this day and age? You know. I think to produce the emotions that people cannot feel just in normal life. I mean, it's like you can feel in music everything, but it's like when you go on the street, you cannot feel everything. So it's just, I don't know. Yes, like that. it's a wonderful outlet. It's a wonderful thing to do. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you so much for talking to me. We wish you, you all the very, very best for the finals. Thank you so much. You know, hope it all goes, if you get it, get that far, I hope it all goes well. And it's been lovely to have you here and to, let, to listen to you over the last days as well. Thank you so Good much. Good luck with it all. Thank you. Vladislav Fandorai speaking to me there and one of the semi-finalists here. And this is, of course, coming to you from the live broadcast of the 2023 Sydney International Piano Competition.